Before this video gets started, if you're interested in becoming an Uber or Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use the link in the description below. All right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. Got my nice, super comfy. I love, this material is like so soft. Um, if you want to get the merch, link in the description. Just saying, you know, you don't have to. But if you do, I um, will buy you a cookie. Um, I don't know. Will I? Okay, um, today's video guys, it's gonna be a little bit different. I know I feel like I say that about all my videos, but maybe that's just because all my videos are super different. Today, I've been thinking about this for a while and a lot of people ask me this question, you know, what what's better to drive, Uber or Lyft? Which one's better, which one should I start? It's, it's usually like new drivers asking me. And um, you know, I started out firstly with Lyft um, and the reason is because, basically, okay, the this video is going to be why I think Lyft passengers are better than Uber passengers. This is my theory, okay? Um, I haven't heard anybody make this argument, so this is just my opinion. Um, but it is based off of research, so... <laughs> Yeah, you guys might be surprised and you probably, I don't know, let me know what you, what your theory is or what you think, but this is just my theory on why, but, okay, back to what I was saying. Uh, a lot of people always ask me, you know, should I drive for Uber or should I drive for Lyft? And, um, usually what I say is sign up for both, get the sign-on bonuses for both. You know, you guys can use my link in the description for both Uber and Lyft. Get your first sign-on bonus on one, you know, complete all the rides you need on that one, then do, then finish your rides on Uber. So you might need to sign up for one first and then do your sign-on bonus and then come back. Use my link again. It's what you, I think you guys get it. But basically the way Uber does it, um, Uber markets themselves as the fastest ride possible. You know, they have way more drivers uh, more passengers and then Lyft markets themselves as a ride from your friend. That's basically the branding that I've, ex you know, taken from it, the branding image that I've, you know, whatever, seen from it. Um, sorry, I got my little pen here. I'm not going to be writing down any notes. I just have been this for school. I'm taking, I haven't got a final in two days. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm procrastinating making this video. Um, okay, so basically the research is why Lyft passengers are better than Uber passengers. This is just based off of pure, what, a survey actually. So the survey is not on Uber and Lyft, but I think it applies similarly. This is my theory. Basically they, it was based off IQ. This is people who it's they said it the the question was that they're trying to figure out the myth or whatever or whatever yeah not really a myth but they said who has an i or iq is it people who use um if they use if they have a macbook if they use safari if they use uh google chrome or if they use mozilla firefox these three web browsers who has the highest iq who is smarter um and you know i so i start thinking oh shoot you know what, what what's it gonna mean for me and this really only applies to p they the survey was just for apple users so if you have my if you have microsoft or pc um the survey won't apply to you but basically the study showed that people who have who um use either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox have a higher IQ than people who use Safari. And the reason was because people who use Safari, you know, they just exclusively, they're just use, this is on average, so, you know, there's exceptions, of course, but people who just use Safari are using just whatever came with the computer. You know, Safari comes with the computer, but people who actively seek out either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, 
they you know they're looking for something better they're basically using their research or you know they're doing research and trying to you know either google chrome as extensions that they're trying to use or mozilla firefox whatever they're not happy with safari so they're going out of their way to be better to be more innovative and so people who do that tend to have a higher iq now my theory with lyft passengers is that you know uber is the default everyone knows uber if you need a ride download the uber app and you get a ride however people who seek out lyft they're going for a better experience you know they want to try out what else what else is out there you know um they want to see you know maybe they're not necessarily content with uber maybe they are content with uber but they just want to um you know see what see what other options there are and see if Lyft might provide a better experience or a different experience. Again, Lyft passengers are, so that's the first you know, theory, and then the second theory or whatever is that Lyft passengers are expecting a ride from their friend. So, like the way that Lyft markets themselves is that. So they're going to be, they're gonna tend to be more friendly, and then they're gonna tend to be smarter. They're gonna have a higher IQ. Um, theoretically based off that survey so based on those two things that's my theory on why I think Lyft passengers are better and based on my experience as well as all the other drivers I've talked to that maybe not all of them <laughs> um, but a lot of drivers I've talked to is that Lyft passengers are just generally nicer generally you know more understanding, I guess, of, um, say you make a wrong turn or something. A little bit less entitled, maybe? I don't know. That's just my theory. Um, but trust me, there will be plenty of exceptions to convince you otherwise. You will have five bad Lyft passengers in a row, and then you will have five good Uber passengers in a row. This is just, on average, I think... You know, say you take, say you have a, do a hundred rides on each. I think out of those a hundred rides, you're going to, uh, on Lyft, you're going to have a lot better ratio of higher, of better passengers. I don't know how to explain it, but if you do a hundred on each, hundred on Uber, hundred on Lyft, let's say you have 70 good rides, really good rides on Lyft, and then maybe only half really good rides on Uber. That's just my theory, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? What have you guys found? Or if you're a new driver, uh, I guess you will find out. Um, or if you're thinking about becoming a driver. I personally recommend if you're just starting out to sign up for Lyft first, then get your sign-on bonus, then sign up for Uber, get your sign-on bonus. Then after that, figure out what you like best because maybe you don't want your passengers to be super friendly. You know, maybe you just want to, you know, Uber has more... Um, all in all, probably has more passengers. So, um, like for me, when I was just driving Lyft, I found that sometimes I was waiting in between rides a lot. So then I signed up for Uber as well. Um, but you know, I know a lot of people who just do Lyft and they have totally f enough rides for them. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree? Agree? Disagree? Um, are Uber passengers better? Are Lyft passengers better? The world may never know, but that's my theory. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Get some merch if you want. A lot of the items are on sale right now, so get them while they're still on sale. Um, you guys are great. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss another video on Uber and Lyft that I post on the Rideshare Hub. Remember, this is the best channel for Uber and Lyft drivers on the internet. There's no other channel that's better, hands down. We have the best content. We have a bunch of different drivers posting videos on here. And then also, you guys are the best. I, hands down, you guys are amazing. And there's no other channel that has legit merch. This is the best merch uh, of a Ratchet channel that I've seen. <laughs> I know I'm just being a little cocky, guys. Um, but, you know. Competition, right? Gotta be the best. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Make some money out there and stay safe. Bye, guys.